Happy Sunday, hi friends. Uh, I hope that wherever you are, you are enjoying beautiful, finally, late spring, early summer weather like we are here in New York City. Um, it's been a particularly beautiful weekend and I think we're finally out of the cold snaps and the cold weather. So that means we can move on to summer style dishes, which I'm very excited for now. Um, I had a big craving for tomatoes and basil this weekend. Um, I always get that craving when the weather turns warm. So I am making sort of an appetizer, or this could also serve as kind of a light lunch uh, or a part of a brunch buffet or something like that. But anyway, there's my melting tomato and ricotta bruschetta. All right, it's really, really delicious. One of Kent's favorites uh, during this season. So um, it's really not a recipe, honestly. It's just sort of making some things and then putting it all together. I think it's really, really simple and it doesn't require long cooking, which is awesome right now. Okay, bruschetta, we need bread. So my store had a uh, sourdough bowl. It was kind of on the smaller side. So normally I will do uh, six thick slices, but usually it's a little bit longer, but these are kind of short, so I did eight. What I did was I brushed it really, really well all over on both sides with olive oil. And because I don't have a grill, I did not grill it, but I put it in a really hot pan until it starts to toast up and get a little bit blackened to mimic a grill. If you have a grill, go ahead and grill this. It's amazing pulled it off when it achieved this sort of like kind of charred bits all over. Then I cut a large garlic clove in half. And then with the cut side of this, while the bread is warm, I just sort of rub it all over here and uh, on every piece, only on the top side of it. But what that does, it gives you a little bit of garlic flavor without like having to put bits of garlic into any of the components of this. Okay, so this bread has cooled. You do want it to not be hot when you assemble because we're gonna make a fun little ricotta mixture to go on top. Now, I have one cup of whole milk ricotta at room temperature. So you don't want it straight out of the fridge. You want it to be very soft like this. So you can mix everything in. To this, I'm just going to add three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Really simple. That was three tablespoons. About a quarter teaspoon or so of salt. Parmesan is salty, so you don't need too much. And then I do like a good grinding of fresh black pepper to go into this mixture. So I don't know, maybe when all said and done, a quarter teaspoon or so, but you can totally do that to your taste. All right, that's all that's in here. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. And this is why you want your ricotta to be softened at room temperature because it's so much easier uh, to get this all together when it is like that. All right, that comes together very quickly. Okay, that's our ricotta mixture. Let's talk about tomatoes, yay. Um, there are some really pretty cherry tomatoes at the market, so I got them, uh, it was about a pint, uh, 10 ounces or so, it really doesn't matter. You can also use grape tomatoes if you can't find cherry. Anyway, I put them all in the sheet pan, two tablespoons of olive oil, sprinkling of salt, tossed it all together, threw it in the oven to broil for, I don't know, maybe eight minutes or so until they burst and start to release some of their juices. Um, and then I pulled them out. These are cooled right now. So we're going to use them in a second. Um, all we have to do at this point is take a bit of our ricotta mixture. We just slather it on top of here. And this acts as well, it's delicious, A, but it kind of acts as the glue a little bit uh, for our tomatoes so that they don't roll around on this bread and roll off. So we're gonna take a couple of our tomatoes and spoon them on top of here. Let me get one more little guy. Okay, secret weapon. These tomatoes are sweet but just to enhance their sweetness just a little bit, I take some honey and what I'm gonna do is just really lightly drizzle over the tomatoes. 
and that will give them just the perfect amount of sweetness. Then, classic combo that I've been craving, we're just going to top with some fresh basil leaves. I have about 10 leaves that I chiffonaded, which is cutting them into these thin strips like that. Anyway, that is it. I just lather, rinse, repeat with all these other pieces of bread. I'm gonna throw them on a nice platter and Kat and I are going to enjoy with a nice glass of crisp rosé. So I highly recommend this for the warm weather. Enjoy.